Hey everybody, Jason here from the Mac and Tech community bringing you another podcast and tonight I'm going to be talking about some of the new Windows 7 keyboard shortcuts that you might want to use. They're going to make your life a lot easier. This is for when you're managing Windows and other things. Such as, you know how you can go to the bottom right corner of your screen in Windows 7? Maybe some of you know it, some of you don't. It brings you a view. Well, here's a few things here. If you press and hold the Windows key and press spacebar, it's going to do exactly what you do with your mouse when you go to the right corner. It's going to let you show all of your screens so you can see your widgets and stuff. So all your windows are going to be minimized. You release it, it comes back. Other things I can do is if I press the Windows key and shift, use my left or right arrows keys, I can move the window to any of my screens in the exact same spot as they were. If I press Windows key shift, press up, it's going to snap it. I press Windows key shift down, it's going to bring it back to its normal size. Now, that's what the Windows key and the shift button does. Now, if you just press the Windows key, press the left or right arrow key, it's going to snap it. See? Like it, you, you see it here. So you have your window here press left, it's going to snap half of it to the left, press the right, it'll go back to normal, press right again, it's going to snap it to the right part. If I press the up key while holding the Windows key, it's going to maximize the entire window. And then with the combination of pressing the Windows key and shift, I can move that maximized window to any of my screens. And then Windows key, press the down button, and it restores the window. That is pretty nifty. I think it's quite useful. So you're working with, um, you have a whole bunch of windows open and you just want to concentrate on one window and uh, everything else is kind of cluttered. If you press and hold the windows key and press home, it's going to minimize all of your other windows except for the current one. Press windows key, press home again, it's going to restore them for you. That is so useful. Shortcut keys are a lifesaver. That's all they had back then before there was a mouse, it was just keys and you know, your keyboard and your shortcut keys. Another thing you can do if you have a projector is this is built into Windows. If you press the Windows key and press the P button, it's going to bring you up um, a little uh, menu option where for this is for if you have a projector on your laptop or whatnot, you have the option of show desktop only on compute, computer display, duplicate the desktop on projector so whatever's on your screen is going to show up on the projector, extend desktop. Um, which I have right here, so I have like separate screens, separate things, and then show desktop on projector. So this is some really nifty stuff that um, you know people are going to like. So if you use all these combinations, and you got Windows all over the place, like just a simple couple of keys and snap, snap again. Want to you know maximize it? Oh well, I want to move it to another window. Oh, I wanna, you know. So remember, press Windows key and shift, left and right arrow key will bring it to your other window. It'll move it to exactly the same position as it's at. With the shift key still held down with the Windows key, pressing the up key is gonna snap it, and then down is going to bring it back to its restored, what you had it set it on. Pressing down again is gonna minimize it. And then remember pressing the Windows key and then left and right it's going to snap it for you. And then Windows key and up. It's going to maximize it. Windows key down. It's going to restore it. And then Windows key space bar. It shows all your widgets in your release and they come back. So that's just some of, you know, some more features that have implemented, implemented in Sorry, I can't speak well tonight. <laughs> some other features they've implemented into shortcuts. So like, those are some new shortcut keys that will be useful for when you're in Windows 7 and you're working with Windows and whatnot. And, you know, dragging and dropping, you know, it works good. You might want it into your own place. But like I said, simple key and I can move it. Maximize it, restore it snap it, you name it. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. Check it out for yourself. Play with the keys. Maybe you might find some more hidden features or whatnot 
that uh, no one's really talked about in Windows 7 because I know I'm still finding some features. So if you like the video or not, why not check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Macintech. Subscribe to our videos so you can get our updates. Check out our website at macintech.net and our live stream at live.macintech.net where you can come to our chat room where we have a live chat room going. You can talk, hang out, talk about tech, you know, enjoy yourself. So hopefully you like this video. I'm Jason and we'll chat at you later.